But Carlton, I think it's it's worth at least mentioning that that this current course, this video course on Van Til's Trinitarian theology, Lane and I will talk about all the details in a moment. But this uh, this is a course that you and I took. I think this is the first course we took together. I was wondering if you might uh, might recollect a little bit of that and you know take me down memory lane. You don't have to hold my hand though. Yeah, I, I remember that. Candid, you and I were in a couple <laughs> of classes with Lane, but I remember. I think it was early in my time in those PhD years, and and probably the overriding memory that I have is that this class on Van Til's Trinitarian Theology was perhaps the most thrilling class that I took and the most intellectually challenging class that I took. I did not come in with the kind of philosophical background that I wish I had. And uh, man, we, we were, we were, Lane was just leading us into some deep waters. And I remember <laughs> thinking, this is what I want to dive into, but I'm not sure I have uh, the kind of um, floaties that I need to, to <laughs> wade out into deep waters. So uh, it's just been a joy to see Lane continuing to develop the material and uh, to see this class emerge and, and uh, maybe even an upcoming publication. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll allude to that in, uh, in uh, a little bit later and talk more about the the companion book, which is not just uh, transcripts of the course, but a standalone book that's even further developed uh, than the course that we hope to have out in the fall. But Carlton, I do remember that class as well, and that's, that pretty much is the epitome of everything I had hoped for by coming to Westminster, because I, I cut my teeth on Van Til, uh being raised in the mainline Presbyterian church, but not really being catechized or, or having any explicit reformed uh, theology. I had some reformed instincts and hermeneutical instincts toward covenant theology and whatnot, but um, wasn't fully developed and in, in, in all that. Then in college, I ended up at a Calvinistic Baptist church and uh, make this long story short, uh, ended up reading Van Til's Apologetic by Bonson. And then be feeling called to the ministry, I certainly wanted to go to Westminster where Van Til taught. And I started reading the priest seminary a reading list and cut my teeth on everything and anything Van Til. I just wanted to go to Westminster to discuss uh, to discuss Van Til, and I ended up having that opportunity and meeting Wayne and talking on his porch when I was visiting, trying to find a, an apartment. But now here at Reformed Academy, even able to take that a step further and make you know true uh, engaging Van Tilian discourse theology, trying to advance it uh, along confessional. And biblical lines, and make it available to people around the world for free. I, you know, I couldn't be happier to have to have you, Lane, to you know, helping us out with this. And I'd love for you to speak about this too, Lane, because this started as your dissertation, uh, the 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 immediate material, and eventually now has has flourished into several years of THM and PhD coursework, and now eventually, uh, you know, this course, and then a and then a forthcoming book. Yeah, I taught the course numbers of times, uh, successive iterations, and you brothers caught the course in the midst of its development. And, um, you know, I won't say you should have a refund for it, but uh, we've definitely advanced beyond what we covered, you know, in the course in terms of some of the detail and some of the implications. But it was a delight uh, as far as I view what Westminster represented in that first faculty you can sum it up in certain ways as a, a concentrated self-conscious awareness of full-orbed Reformed Trinitarianism and what it means for image and covenant and the history of special revelation. And it helps integrate the disciplines of Old and New Testament studies. And so uh, to have you brothers in that course was a peculiar delight. And it's so good for me to see now to reference students and teachers. It's so beautiful to see students advancing beyond their instructor. So 